Um, so you I'm Vicky and I'm hip to be squares and I've been making for a couple of years now based in York and Harris Rain, a very awkward artist from York <laughs> who's been selling on Etsy for like five years or something I think. How do you find Etsy? Do you enjoy it? Yeah it's I, yeah it's pretty much what I do full time now so. Brilliant. Yeah. Because I mean, I'm kind of, I'm part time and setting it up on Etsy. I haven't put much effort into it apart from the last few months as such. So it's kind of, it's more new to me than new, I guess. Yeah, I've been, I just kind of, I never knew much about it at the time and opened one just because I was yeah. selling like a few prints and then it just kind of took off really. But I mean, it's been a lot of work for yeah. constantly, like most, probably five days a week after like, <laughs> oh, okay. and stuff. like yeah. And so, were you, were you self-taught as an illustrator then? How did you get set up with it? Um, yeah, pretty much. Well, I studied at Leeds College of Art and Edinburgh College of Art, but I did painting and um, filmmaking, so... All right. Um, but yeah, I didn't know anything about illustrating. Like, I even started my first greetings cards. I didn't realise that you should put the envelope in the card and then put it in the bag. <laughs> <laughs> Like a year, I was selling cards. You couldn't see anything on the back because uh... <laughs> I'm a slow person. <laughs> Get there eventually, but yeah, literally oh, not myself Photoshop and Illustrator and stuff. Yeah, yeah. This is why it's a slow burner for me. <laughs> <laughs> oh god. <laughs> um, oh yeah. So yeah, just trying to. Like how I've seen your business, I've been trying to do everything more eco-friendly nowadays as well. And yeah, have I suppose it's quite a lot of plastic and yeah, it's kind of it's the sleeves it. and everything else that doesn't get used with the card, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. All that, so, like um, thousands of pieces of plastic by now. Yeah. So, well, yeah. that's it. It's kind of it's like birthday cards or anything like that. You kind of look. You don't mind paying out for a decent card because someone's going to treasure it, but then it's all. The wrapping and such that come with it, isn't yeah, it? Exactly. So just trying to do everything totally paper based nowadays. Yeah. yeah. So how do you find um all the how do you source the materials to make your for me? Materials? It tends to be car boot. So I used to manage a charity shop years ago and so I hoarded oh, loads and loads of stuff. And then car boot sales and just charity shops, that kind of the usual trolling around second hand places. I um but I kind of stockpiled a load of stuff. I had a friend came to visit a few years back and just went, Why aren't you doing anything with this Vicky? So she was um she's an old art college friend of mine. She'd give me a good kick up the backside to get moving. Yeah. So that's quite good really. So Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah. So it's just kind of, it's looking for the bits and pieces to get chucked out or, you know, the broken puzzles or the bits that have got bits missing or they've been played with. So I tend to look for something that's got like nice patination on it or whatever and then just see what yeah. I can make it really. Oh, that's awesome because, you know, yeah. being a mum, you see how many toys, you know, get thrown away. It's, it's mad, isn't it? it? <laughs> I think I'm about 10 years further on that journey than you are at the moment. Yeah. Mine's upstairs in bed. So I'm just like, oh, it gets better, believe me. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh. Yeah. So when you go and you get your inspiration for your work, whereabouts do you like to go and uh, be inspired? Because I know you've had some in Switzerland, some of your pieces. So is it a case yeah. of as and when you can go travelling? Sort of a mixture of both, really, because I've, I've been to Austria and Denmark and Sweden and stuff. But mm. um, people send me pictures and then I get inspired by like photography and fine art and everything all mixed into one, really. Yeah. I've got some friends from Finland and things show me pictures. Um, yeah, and some of it's like a mixture of imagination, really. Like the my classic one, which is just like the Starry Sky one, the first one mm. I did. Like that was just like in just came out of my imagination. And that's the most popular one. Just a nice amalgamation of all those really nice places you've been and all the yeah, good I think so. you have. I lived in Edinburgh for four years, so I used to go up to the Highlands a lot and you know, nice. Nevis and all those places, just mountains and <laughs> <laughs> coming together, I think. <laughs> yeah. Oh. A little bit of student making me miss going places. <laughs> so I've not Do been you get to travel much time. now? No, because 
well, I had a baby, I'm a single parent, so that was not easy. Yeah. And then lockdown happened. So <laughs> even <laughs> the centre parks, I've been trying to go to centre parks for two years. It's been cancelled twice. <laughs> Like, uh, eventually one day <laughs> bless you yeah now, i've um i've booked a flight out to see my friends in spain for december so i've got my fingers crossed that's gonna happen yeah, so I tend to go a couple of times a year but that's um that's up in the sierra nevada up in granada so it's all the mountains oh, cool. there yeah, so it's like yeah, mountain okay. snow and then sunshine as well you know oh, it sounds good <laughs> sounds inspiring <laughs> oh yeah oh, i miss going in places i've just been around york for ages I know. I know, and it's just, it's getting crowded again, isn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I never used to go on a weekend before, because it's just so busy, so. Yeah, yeah. But yeah, there's no mountains, is there, in York? We need mountains. <laughs> like you got, I mean, there's the Wolds nearby, which is yeah. always gorgeous. I went to school at the bottom of the Wolds, so that's kind of, it's a nice area to be, but it's, yeah, uh, it's yeah, hilly. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to Whitby, and the drive to Whitby through the... the yeah, through the moors. Yeah, I was at the moors, yeah. Oh, it's lovely around there. It's gorgeous, isn't it? Yeah, any oh. inspiration? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, That's it. <laughs> is there any inspiration behind um, your jewellery? or? For my, it's just, it's kind of, it's, I find what colours work well together and I'll see, I'm, I'm sat here looking over on my wall because I've got it all laid out on the wall yeah. ready for next weekend. And it's kind of, it's just seeing what colours come together really. Because some of the pieces I use, I've only got one off or I've got a limited run off. I will see what blends itself to be in, you know, working well yeah. together. Some of the scraps of fabrics can only be like an inch square and I can still make a pair of earrings out of them. So that kind of thing, mm. I'm like, can I get away with a smaller pair if I've got this much left? But I mean, some of the scraps of fabric in there, I've got, I've got the skirt I wore for my 21st birthday party. Mm -hmm. I've got, you know, there's That's some great. little bits yeah. of nostalgia in there that I know what I'm selling. There's offcuts from a lampshade I made 10 years ago. There's all sorts of little pieces like that. So to me, uh, yeah. some things tell a story more than people will realise. That's so quite sweet, really. Yeah. And it's just nice knowing that people have got something a bit more tactile with it. But yeah, it just kind of, I'll sit with all my puzzles on my desk and just kind of play about with them and just kind of, uh, you know, let the brain yeah. fade and just see what happens. So that's quite a good way of yeah. working with them, really. sort of I think fun. especially with the blocks, because you are you used to playing with them as such or, you know, that that's exactly what they're intended for. So for those, it's quite nice just, you know, have a little bit of a fiddle and just see what they lend themselves to becoming, so. Yeah. <laughs> that's great. Um, yeah, making use out of the little things that might just go to waste otherwise and well this is i mean i trained as a trained as a silversmith years ago so we were always taught you know you keep all your silver scraps you work with those you can mm. you know you can always make something else out of it you know it's not going to go to waste and i think i just kind of carry that over into what i'm making now so i've got the basic use of my skills that i used to have mm. at college so um it's just i'm not doing any soldering or anything like that anymore i'd, I'd love to be i just yeah. i'm in the corner of my dining room and it's too filthy to be <laughs> setting up here at the moment so it's like i've kind of the equipment's all on the shelves behind me and it's just waiting for a shed somewhere yeah so and a, a you know a massive a lottery window and inheritance <laughs> <laughs> My studio closed down. I was at Bar Lane Studios, so I just work in like a tiny room upstairs. Oh, really? Um, Did you yeah. Oh, that's yeah, a shame. Yeah, turn into flats or something now. I'm very interested. Oh. <laughs> yeah. Typical York, fortunately. I know it's. Well, that's uh, why it's all my paintings expensive. start really small because I was always mm. working on like a tiny, <laughs> tiny little desk. I couldn't really go any bigger. <laughs> Well, this is it. It kind of restricts what you are going to produce, doesn't it? Yeah. It's like drying spaces or anything like that as well. If you, you know, if you're printing at home or anything. So, yeah. do you do you do much printing at home, or do you send it off, or is it um, kind of your trade and then your illustrations printed? I used to do like everything myself. Yeah, but, um, yeah. I wanted to get back into printmaking, but again, I don't really have the space to get so messy. <laughs> Um, yeah, I just use suppliers for everything now. Um, yeah. In place in Leeds does all my prints now. So all right. Quality. Like they're all printed on like um, thick kind of cotton paper now and they're all yes. recycled and stuff. So kind of. Not fab. Yeah. yeah, I know I, um, I use the printers in Leeds for my business cards and my stickers and they're all recycled, which is brilliant. It's just finding something yeah. local you can use really, isn't it? Yeah, that's the thing. It's good. There's plenty of businesses here in Yorkshire, isn't there? So Keep them all top top. made in Yorkshire. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all good, good stuff is. 
Oh, well, where do you get your pin badges and your mirrors and such made? Is that something that you outsource as well locally? Yeah, or? that's all uh, Yorkshire as well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good. Um, I just bought a McCry cut machine and oh, a pin right. machine, so I was going to try and branch out a little bit, maybe do some textiles or yeah, like screen printed bags and things like that. But just finding the time in it. <laughs> It is indeed, it is. Um, That's it, because you get started and it's suddenly it's dinner time, you've got to clear it off the table or, you know, yeah. someone wants to do the homework at the desk or, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, no, I'm just too, I just pass out at like seven o'clock because I'm too tired. <laughs> 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 well, my partner works shifts yeah. he works for men cap and so i'm kind of i'm almost single mum three nights of the week so it's like yeah. now he's older it's a lot easier but it's just you oh, know yeah. it's the <laughs> and i don't know about you but you kind of you like to have everything spread out you work on it and then you can come back to it and so yeah. between him and the cat and you know i sat in making 11 o'clock last night and the cat came over and just started sat in the middle of the desk <laughs> Why? Just you know, leave me be. Cat so. to do that wrapping print, so it's like no, oh, cat hair <laughs> all in them. <laughs> any kind of paper, any kind of string, chain, anything like that, it belongs to her. She owns it. So yeah, cats and toddlers are exactly the same. <laughs> Nothing <laughs> is off limits in my room either. I have to pack it all away because he just picks all the paints up and uh. yeah, that's it. <laughs> yeah, getting started young though. I'm gonna do some uh, some bits of um, low melt um ally with jake at some point during the holidays so, so I'll, I'll get you some skills up because he starts dt next year and of course yeah. i can't do the practical in school so he's just kind of like yeah I'll, I'll have a go at that so he's oh, just getting started cool. young <laughs> give him the yeah, skills <laughs> <laughs> oh, hey. right, what else? oh what else do we have to check i'm trying to think i've got my list in front of me and i keep on looking down for you back. because we both sort of work at home as well because I yeah. find it like lonely as hell because without all the markets and stuff that we normally have. That's it's the interaction. I don't see anyone. <laughs> it's really weird. So I just listen to the radio like all the time basically. I've got six music yeah. on permanently in the background. Yeah, me too. I've always got right six now. on. <laughs> yeah, it's in the background quietly here. Yeah, it's, yeah. Just, it, it's one of those things that you could go and put your music on but you'd spend all your time procrastinating about what you're going to listen to. So actually just stick yeah. six on. Yeah. It's going to be a solid choice. <laughs> yeah, always with the six for me too. Or if I'm like doing some intense painting, because it's all small, so I have to like. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Put soundtracks on, which is funny. Oh, right. Sometimes they're like intense. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like Lord of the Rings battle music on while I'm painting. <laughs> so yeah, I like doing that. It keeps you in the zone when you're painting. It does. It does indeed. And it does, it. I mean, at the moment, I've not been getting, normally be long on the burn in the morning, that's it, you listen to that solidly and you're plowing away at the desk and then with lockdown, it's like, it's more Mark Riley on the night time or it, you yeah, know, it's a different yeah. time of day on the morning. So that's kind of weird. Yeah. But no, it's it's definitely needed in the background. Yeah, though I, yeah. <laughs> it's like <laughs> having <laughs> people in the room, isn't it? So. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, I don't even speak to adults, I'm just with a two-year-old <laughs> I well I remember them days well believe me it gets better <laughs> at the moment I see my mum and my driving instructor I just started driving lessons again three weeks ago because I'm like I need to be able to be independent so um I see my mum my partner and my driving instructor and my friend who works at a comic book shop and that's it <laughs> it's more <than> me so, <laughs> I see mum and dad yeah mum and dad and son that's it <laughs> Oh bless. So you got plans for expanding anything like you're saying with the cry cut and such? Yeah I'm just kind of looking into it. Um, I thought about doing a kids range at some point but that's All right. quite a big undertaking really because it's like Cause a lot of day, lines, so. yeah i saw the other day you did the um with the yellow camper van i really liked that yeah. one i thought it was really cute it's just right, nice big yeah. color in the center i love my color so i was like oh no that's yeah, really quite cute. meaning so. to be one of those for years i think <laughs> <laughs> it. yeah i paint like 12 new paintings a year for my calendar as well Right. Um, we always think you've got loads of time left but they get printed in september and i've only yeah. got four <laughs> Oh, I've got eight to do by the next month or so, which is a lot. Yeah. Because they're very detailed, so. Oh. That's probably what I'll be doing for the rest of the day. <laughs> That's it. It'd be a case of checking in two weeks later. What are you up to? to well, I'm news. So I'm always, like, 
like when you paint you feel a bit weird after a while because it's so like <laughs> like you feel like you need to go out and speak to someone because you've been like, yeah it's quite an intense like muscle as well isn't it because you see I mean it's the eyes as well as the yeah. hands but it is quite an intense muscle that you're using so yeah and I'm kind of I can I can switch off when I'm making if that makes any sense I can kind of uh you know I can I can let the things create themselves as such because I know what skills I'm doing. Whereas I assume for you, you've got to be quite focused on getting the right image at the end of it. So Yeah, and it's, sometimes you don't feel very inspired as well. So you have to, especially with all the yeah. lockdown stuff and there's no inspiration <laughs> anywhere. <so. laughs> Definitely. It's quite hard to get into it this year, I must say. Yeah, I because um, after the December affairs, I'd given myself like a couple of months off and just kind of relaxed and you know trying to refocus on things. Yeah. And then lockdown happened. It's like, oh, oh no, I hadn't planned on this. So. Yeah, me either. And suddenly it's nearly August. What the hell? Oh, no, 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 it's crazy how fast it's come round, really. So. And then it's like ooh, Christmas again. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Probably more prepped for it this year. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know how I did it last year, like literally with a baby all the time. I have no idea how that happened. <laughs> he might play on his own a little bit now. Yeah. Yeah, yeah when the independence comes through, it's quite good. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I'm trying to think what else questions-wise we had, but I think that was about it, wasn't it? Yeah, I think we've... I don't know how long, yeah. how long you can tell we've been on for. I think we've probably done 10 um, minutes. I don't know. <laughs> I'm sure this is like yeah i'm sure this is fine <laughs> hello oh bless well hello to everybody who's watching and yeah come and see our stalls because that's what it's all yeah, about really isn't it come and chat to us